What's up guys, Jason of High Octane RT. So today we're going to do the MDG Collections uh, What was your first car challenge? So my first car I got when I was a sophomore in high school uh, That was back in 1991 And that was a 1975 Chevy Camaro LT I had a 350 in it, and boy, I love that car. I, if there was one car that I could have back, it, it would be that one. That was a great car. It, man, it it took all the use and abuse I I could dish out to it. Um, so I've been hunting for a. Uh, some pictures of that car and unfortunately um, I, I can't find any and I can only remember a few times ever taking pictures of it back then I wasn't too big into picture taking there was no such thing as a cell phone uh, the only f I had I had a friend one friend that had a, a cellular phone in his car and it was about the size of a lunchbox and it didn't take pictures so and that was a luxury to have one of those back then so I got on the internet and I found I found a picture of uh, one that looked looks exactly like the Camaro that I had same year same color everything uh, the only difference is my Camaro had uh, the two black racing stripes on the hood and on the trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a, a picture of what my Camaro looked like. So it's looked exactly like this, except for my Camaro had the black racing stripes on the hood and trunk. And man, just looking at pictures of this thing, I I wish I never would let it go. So that was my my first car, um, and I was thinking I can't do this challenge without uh, mentioning my first Mopar that I ever bought, my first Dodge that I ever bought. Um, the very first car I financed and that was in 1997 I bought it brand new and the day I picked it up it had three miles on it so that was pretty exciting to me to have a, a brand new car that that nobody had ever driven uh, they, they told me the three miles on it were from the test track so a professional driver drove that thing before I did and a uh, little story behind behind that uh, the purchase of that car so the, I went to the Dodge dealership and it was the first time I'd ever been to a dealership and these guys were trying to sell me cars off the lot and every car they showed me there was know a few things I didn't like about the car so these guys were getting frustrated they couldn't sell me a car off the lot and I was I told them I said I'm not buying uh, I'm not buying anything unless it's exactly what I want so they're you know a few weeks went by I'm still dealing with these guys they're ordering cars in from out of town they thought it would be the one that I wanted and and they, they called me up, say, come down to the dealership. We got this car. We know you're going to want it. You're going to want it. And I go down there, and I'd be like, ah, oh, well, I don't like this. This isn't what I want. And it was probably about a month of going back and forth with these guys. And they were finally like, all right, here's what we're going to do. This guy took me into his office. He said, go ahead and have a seat. And he dropped his book in front of me said here's what you're gonna do you're gonna build your own car so 
So I was like, seriously? He's like, yeah, yep. He's like, sit here and you build your car and I'm gonna come back in 20, 30 minutes and, and uh, you're gonna tell me exactly what you want and we're gonna special order it just for you. And I was, thought that was pretty cool. First time I ever uh, bought a car from a dealership and they were gonna give me exactly what I wanted. And to this day, I've never been to a dealership where they treated me that good. He, his, this guy that I dealt with was great, man. He was a pretty cool dude. So, that was a 1997 Dodge Avenger. And it was a V6. The fastest V6 I've ever driven to this day. Um, I believe it was a five, it was a manual. And I believe I, that was what I wanted, I wanted a manual. And I believe it was a five speed. Um, and that thing got, that thing had some get up and go for a V6. It had no problem getting up to, right up to 120 miles per hour cruising down the highway. In fact, a uh, little story that I pretty still clear in my head. Uh, I remember one day I was driving home from work and a this big pack of Harley Davidson uh, motorcycles. I think it was probably a bike club cruised past me. They, I mean, they were they just zing past me like, I mean, they were flying. So I sped up and caught up to them, and and uh, before I knew it, I'm I'm cruising down the highway. I was probably about six or seven car lengths behind them, but I was cruising with them. And we were cruising down the highway at 130 miles an hour uh, for a good two or three miles. And then I had to turn off and those those boys just kept on cruising. Um, craziest thing I ever experienced. It was pretty wild. So I did find a, a few pictures of, of this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you a few of these pictures now. So here in this one, I, uh, for whatever reason, decided to strike the high school football pose. And here's just a, a few more. This is actually the, the day that I bought it, I believe. So there's my uh, MDG collections. What was your first car challenge? And uh, well, I'm gonna end this uh, challenge with my son's first car. Check this out. <laughs> All right, have a good one guys, later.